The most important thing for me as an individual are the people that I have around me. Laughing is my best medicine. And having people around me that allow me to laugh and laugh at what I'm doing is utter magic. I love hair, I love product, I love everything that goes into being a hairdresser. I do hair in my own salon in East London. I'm also a brand ambassador for L'Oreal Professional Paris. I have my own range. I educate globally. I create hair for runways, for industry shows. I opened Adam Reed London in February 2020. Anyone that knows me knows I do like to have a laugh and have fun. So I wanted a space that was a place where people could be creative, could create great hair and enjoy coming to work. Sarah joined in just after the first lockdown as colour director. Something we didn't really want was a hierarchy. I'm not a big fan of it and I've never been a big fan of a title. We all just jailed and things changed so drastically through lockdown. But what's been lovely is we've just stuck to an open communication and a creative communication. And I think that's what was there from the beginning. It feels like we've worked together for forever. And the space, you know, such a, it is such an incredible space to work in. On my first day post lockdown, nerves, starting a new job nerves and coming in here and working in a space I felt instantly comfortable was just incredible. So yeah, it's just been so easy having those interactions and conversations on the floor with clients, with Adam and our, the rest of our team. We kind of are able to conflab in between clients and whilst doing clients. So it's not, you know, having a conversation about something and then being separate while we're doing our clients. It kind of all rolls into one thing. Having somebody to talk about colour with in the way that I would talk about colour and understanding. We did it last week. A, a, a client came in and I instantly knew this client was up for something different. I called Sarah over and between the three of us, we came up with a great plan to change the colour of her hair. I think that's the way businesses should be. And I actually think it's going back to a really great way of working in a salon. And Sarah's brought that with her. We've kind of created this narrative as hopefully great colorists. And I think that's why people walk through the door as new clients. Um, and I think I'm just a very honest hairdresser, colorist, and I, I keep it very real with my clients you know, curated color is our thing. So we're kind of having these, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversations with our clients to make sure we're giving them the best that works for their lifestyle and their aesthetic and their, their way of expressing themselves. So it's not always trend-driven. Of course, we are aware and we pick up on things, but that's not the sole focus of what we do when we're creating beautiful hair. As the pandemic took hold of our industry, I realised that if my head isn't in a good place, rarely am I. And what I decided to do is open the conversation about caring for your head, what's in your head and what's on it. We as hairdressers have an incredible ability to be very close to our clients. We work in close contact. And what I realised was Head care allows you to care for yourself and this is a conversation for me I had to open and from a community perspective it was a conversation that others wanted to share. I believe and I believe it's quite unique to our company. We do have a very honest and open communication policy. Sarah has taken my lead and gone with it. And that's really, really beginning to show. 
for the better. Like it, it's having that conversation where the client, the stylist, the apprentice, everybody's involved in that conversation for me is so refreshing and so exciting. I absolutely value other people's opinions when it comes to my, my, well, my life, my work, my job. I think there's no weakness in that. I think asking for help or asking for just a taste opinion sometimes, it doesn't yeah. show that you don't know what you're talking about or but it's just getting that reinforcement and that confidence in what you're doing and it, and it brings like a really nice community sense to what we're doing. Having worked from a personal perspective with such rigid structure my whole career, I'm really enjoying seeing a totally new business model develop. When I look at success, I would say communication is key and communication has been one of my biggest, biggest issues. But for all of the challenges, we are definitely, as a team, making headway. I think honesty is a huge part of that and openness, because I think as long as the conversation's open, you know, between yourself and your client, or you and your team, or you and your boss. I think ultimately, can't really go wrong.